Now, your forecast first with the KX Storm Team. Well, a couple of days ago, it was real cold. Uh, today, it's not quite as cold, but we have some snow on the way. Let me show you the KX cam, and I'm looking uh, northwest from the Minot cam right there, and you don't see any snow there, but if you look here on the radar, you can see some snow to the west and to the north of Minot, some snow around Devil's Lake. It's all heading towards the Bismarck area, but there are a few towns getting some light snow, maybe a little uh, freezing rain in there as well. And looking ahead, uh, we're going to see these kind of temperatures fall tonight from the 20s and 30s, tomorrow back into the 20s to around 30. And I'll have the full forecast coming up. And also coming up on KX News at 5, we are live from Recovery Reinvented, where we will show you throughout the day how to get on the road to recovery. And we're bringing you stories of the devastating effects of addiction, as well as those with hope and resilience, showing you it may be hard, but there are resources and help available. Plus, the alternatives to opioids when it comes to managing your pain in today's For Health First. Putting North Dakota first. KX News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Nicholas Pollock. Thank you for watching a special edition of KX News at 5. Over the last several months, we've been featuring stories of addiction and recovery with our Road to Recovery series, providing resources and showing people addiction can be overcome. Lauren Kolber is live at the Bismarck Event Center, where she joins us now from the third annual Recovery Reinvented event. Hi, Lauren. Thanks, Nick. I'm live from Recovery Reinvented. It's a pretty big event going on here today, put on by the First Lady and her team, of course, inspired by her own battles with addiction. Hundreds of people came through these doors here today looking for information and looking to connect. And of course, nobody's story is the same. We have said it before, and it's worth saying again and again, addiction does not discriminate. It can happen to anyone at any time. As Renee Cooper reports from rural North Dakota, it is happening to our kids. Adults struggling today started when they were young. And um, those that are struggling as adults say they were just trying to kill time back in the day in a town where it's considered normal, normal or they didn't have anybody around them to tell them about the consequences. So I grew up in Wishick, North Dakota. A small town, about a thousand people. So when I was about 12 or 13 years old, I drank uh, alcohol for the first time, vodka, drank to get blacked out. I did, and um, by about age 14, I was, I tried meth. Pete Duwald says as time went on, it only got worse. The meth became an everyday habit, and by 25, he was using IVs. Looking back at it, I think, I mean, I was just missing something inside. Um, I'm not sure why. I, just looking for you know a way to escape reality. Out in rural North Dakota, it took 10 years before the consequences hit. With little resources around, he moved to Bismarck in 2016 to try to make a change. Me and my parents didn't know of anything you know to do. You can maybe go to the hospital, but they're not. You know, that's maybe a day or two. But it took more than one try. Duwald dropped out of treatment and started selling meth as a way to make money and to make sure it was always available. I was a fear of running out. I wanted to stay high and be high all the time. It's the only way I knew. In 2018, he was federally indicted. And that's when I went to jail. And then even after being released on pretrial release in 2018, um, I couldn't stay sober, you know, even with fear driving that, you know, knowing that I need to stay sober, I'm, you know, out on bond. The solution was inpatient treatment at Heartview, and now he's been in a sober living home for several months. I mean, the amount of lives you touch, you don't realize it at the time. I mean, I have now gotten a chance to, you know, look at that and accept responsibility for what I've done. In the end, it took a change of mindset that many in recovery tell me isn't easy to come by in small towns. Renee Cooper, KX News. Now, DeWald says you have to have something driving you to get to where he's at today. For him, it was simply wanting to live and it was his family. He says there's help available out there, but you have to be honest with yourself first, and you may even have to be willing to move. Now, in February, we told you about the first rural addiction treatment center in Western North Dakota. Beulah's Coal Country Community Health Center started a rather revolutionary movement. In 2009, they started offering behavioral health services closely 
uh, connected with addiction treatment. Recently, KX News got the chance to check in and see the brand new facility. This is the new and improved home of Coal Country Community Health Center as of April, making room for at least seven new employees. But the biggest new addiction is the addition is the intensive outpatient program. Before the IOP program, the center used to have one group meeting a week for patients. Now they offer them three nights a week, three hours at a time, as part of the eight-week program. People with, with drug and alcohol problems, you know, sometimes don't have a license, get a DUI, don't have a license, don't have enough um, aren't financially stable, can't make a trip to Bismarck for the treatment they need, you know, three times a week. McKay says everyone deserves an equal chance at getting sober. The Department of Human Services offers a 24-7 treatment line, a recovery talk line. So there's always someone to talk to in a time of crisis, no matter where you live. And that information is on our website, kxnet.com. The process of getting off of opioids isn't always pretty, but there is help available, an option available without getting high. And here to tell us more on that is Nikki Johnson, our very own. Yes, thank Thanks, Lauren. There are many options. The CDC says one is medication-assisted treatment, where you use FDA-approved medications along with counseling and behavioral therapies for a whole patient approach to treatment of substance abuse. Ideal option is a clinic in Bismarck that uses this approach to treat patients. We uh, prescribe according to the American Society of Addiction Medicine and we use buprenorphine or one of the brand names is Suboxone and we uh, will prescribe um, according to uh, their use history to find an appropriate dose that will help them. There's three different medications the FDA has approved. Methadone is given in a clinic setting and does not block other narcotics, but does prevent withdrawal symptoms. Naltrexone is office-based and it's non-addictive. It blocks the effects of other narcotics, meaning you can't get high from substances. Buprenorphine is office-based and blocks other narcotics while reducing withdrawal symptoms. Sphine said that some patients stay on these medications for long periods of time to prevent them from being abused, uh, from abusing opioids in the future. She says that it's similar to using behavioral drug uh, medication like anti-anxieties that help regulate patients. The CDC is currently doing a multi-year study on MAT treatment for all three medications as well as patients who only receive counseling. Yeah, very true. And right now, 1,200 mm -hmm. patients are enrolled in that study and they're set to, across the country, that is, and they're set to release those results in the year 2021. Thank you so much, Nikki, for all that you do. Nicholas, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Nikki and Lauren, thank you very much. If today is your health first, when it comes to pain management, there is a role for medications like opiates, but there are alternatives, including chiropractic care, massage therapy, yoga, aromatherapy, and several more. Dr. Melissa Hankey works for a nonprofit alcohol and drug treatment facility. The facility offers drug-free pain management to their patients, and she says insurance is much more likely to cover it than they were a few years ago. She says even if you have a disease requiring opioids like end-stage cancer, there's always a place for these alternatives. It's all about strengthening and stretching your body to help it heal or at least improve naturally. If you take a pain medication, it's going to blunt that pain for a period of time and then it's going to go away. But if you can actually make your, your muscles stronger and, and your body more efficient, those benefits are going to be longer lasting. Dr. Hankey says physical, occupational, and psychotherapy have been around for decades as alternative treatments. But then in the late 90s, opioids became more prominent. She says opioids will always play a role in certain cases of pain management, but they have been overused for too long. Hundreds are expected in Lytton tomorrow for a public hearing regarding potential changes to the Dakota Access Pipeline. Texas-based energy transfer wants to double the capacity of the line to as much as 1.1 million barrels daily by installing a new pump station. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, which led original opposition to the pipeline, had sought the hearing. The pipeline is routed less than a half mile from the reservation beneath a reservoir that provides Standing Rock's drinking water. Now, we spoke with the Public Service Commission on why it's important those interested show up tomorrow. 
if people who have concerns that they want us to hear and they want those concerns to be part of our decision making, they have to be at the hearing and express those at the hearing. There isn't an opportunity through written to, uh, emails to us or letters to us for that information to be added to the official decision making record. Tomorrow's meeting is set for 9 a.m. at the Emmons County Courthouse Auditorium in Linton. The room holds 400 and it is expected to be full. Well, coming up next on KX News at 5, we'll go through the five stages of change most people go through when recovering. Plus, why you need to set time aside for yourself when you're on that road to recovery. And some more snow could be on the way when and where coming up next in your full forecast. You're watching KX News at 5 with Lauren Kalber, Nicholas Kualik, Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Schrader. KX News at 5, putting North Dakota first. In the mood for a taste of the old Southwest, Hardy's new Southwest patty melt comes with a hotter, juicier Black Angus thick burger, pickled jalapenos, melted pepper jack cheese, and zesty Santa Fe sauce. yippee ki -yay. Hardy's new Southwest patty melt. First Western Bank and Trust is a born and raised North Dakota bank, doing life right here in Bismarck. Locally owned, locally operated. And all decisions are made right here. By people you know, who know you. And because you're here, there's no place else we'd rather be. We'd rather be. At First Western, we're not just here for you. We are you. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my. One more. Ready? Yep. A little more out, okay? At Trinity Health, our orthopedic and sports medicine specialists deliver more advanced options and remarkable recoveries. <laughs> Trinity Health, making more possible. Hello? History can teach us lots of things, like how much better life is now. Take this old dinosaur dialer modem. Pinterest would take almost five minutes to load with this thing. Amazon.com, almost three minutes. Now I can download HD movies in seconds, and bigger things are coming. We're gonna need much better internet. Midco Gig, life changing. Cash Dash is back with the North Dakota Lottery. Ask for Cash Dash to get one of each for $11, and you could instantly win up to $500. Cash Dash ends November 30th, so play today. The North Dakota Lottery. Imagine the possibilities. Need help waking up, cowboy? Well, say good morning to Hardy Southwest Omelet Biscuit and Burrito with cheesy eggs, bacon, and just enough jalapenos to make you sit up in the saddle. Pick up either for just three bucks, now at Hardy's. Interiors by Friends is a full-service home furnishings and interior design studio. Call or stop by today. Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Hey, guys. We keep winter hours so you guys can enjoy these animals, and these animals enjoy this weather. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, those are the uh, otters, some of the otters at the Roosevelt Park Zoo. And I learned something today that they have two coats on them, which makes it perfect for North Dakota. A dense coat traps the warm air in, and then on top of that, uh, really long uh, hair, and that wicks away water. And so it's a perfect North Dakota uh, jacket or, or coat, if you will. I'm looking at the KX Cam out of Bismarck right now, I don't see any snow. I think there will be some snow in the Bismarck area later on tonight. You know, with this cold air and an open lake, well, that, look what it does. That's the relatively warmer air over Lake Sakakawea creating that steam or the fog uh, earlier today. Christina, thank you for that photo. Temperatures warmed up a lot over yesterday. We're in the 20s to mid 30s right now. Uh, the wind is roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour, except in the southwest, where it's a little bit stronger, 10 to 15. So if you go outside, this is what you need to dress for. Uh, wind chills in the teens and 20s, most locations. So here's a look at the radar and the satellite. So we have some snow mainly in the north center, central and uh, in the west you can see some snow around Newtown maybe some uh, freezing rain west and southwest of Kenmare kind of heading towards the Minot area 
and it should arrive in, towards the Bismarck uh, area later on this evening. It's not going to be heavy, but it is still a little bit of snow. In fact, by 9 o'clock, our computer models indicating fairly widespread but light snow, and you can tell that because of the really light colors uh, right there. And it's going to be heading south during the evening hours, so you can see by after midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, might be a little light snow around Bismarck, possibly some heavier snow farther to the west. And then by uh, tomorrow morning, there still could be a little bit of snow in the west. But notice how the north is going to be clearing out. So you'll get up tomorrow morning. Most areas will be cloudy, but we'll start to see sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. And uh, the wind is going to be out of the northwest. It's not going to be terribly warm tomorrow, but it's not going to be like Sunday and Monday either. It is going to warm, uh, probably be in the 20s, have near steady temperatures in some areas. And then by Wednesday evening, much more of an area with a uh, clear sky uh, for uh, most of western North Dakota. As we check out the next 72 hours for Dickinson, uh, notice these temperatures. Now, they're not going to be all that warm tomorrow, but it does warm up a little bit more for Thursday and Friday. Nighttime lows really aren't going to be all that bad. And in Williston, uh, what we're seeing here is another pretty chilly day tomorrow, right around 30 degrees. Nighttime lows are, are certainly going to be colder, but it does warm up again Thursday and Friday for Williston. Now, as we check out forecast lows tonight, it's kind of a mixture, mostly teens and some 20s, and then some areas we're going to have somewhat steady temperatures tomorrow. Not going to warm up a whole lot. You can see Minot maybe only 20 degrees for the high. Tomorrow, Bismarck around 29, Dickinson 30, Williston 30, you know, Medina only 26. So it is going to be rather cold, but it will continue to warm back up. So here's a look at the next seven days, and I'm still liking this, even though it might be breezy or a bit windy, and yes, there's a couple of chances of snow. When you look at the seven-day forecast, whether it's in the north around Minot or you look at Bismarck, Nicholas, what you're not seeing is another, uh, some numbers there that would reflect another Arctic air mass. So uh, I think we're going to stay chilly for a while, but not terribly cold. Anything without a negative sign is good. Tom, thanks very much. Next Center 5 at 5, the road to recovery is never easy, but there are things you can do to help get you started on the journey. Tonight on CBS. Federal agents, heads up! Hey guys, where are all these images from? You saw something that got him killed. Your husband had a lot of secrets. It's always the ones you least expect. A new NCIS, then. Our DOA is the ex-surgeon general. Being a cop isn't for everyone. Put the gun down and let him go. A new FBI after a new NCIS, tonight on CBS. It's truck month in the Northland, where we take on every tough job, any rough terrain. And no matter what comes our way, we keep on trucking. Yeah, we're tougher up here. And there's only one brand of truck built to keep up. During Truck Month, get up to 9250 cash back on a Ford F-150 or lease F-150 for just $299 a month. Only your local Northland Ford dealer. Tearing up yards and jackhammering floors used to be the only way plumbers could repair damaged pipes. Not anymore. With New Flow North Dakota, a division of H.A. Thompson & Sons, your pipes can be fixed permanently without the mess and at a fraction of the cost. Using existing access to pipes entry and exit points, New Flow cleans out the pipe, then lines it with an epoxy liner, creating a new pipe inside the old one. No digging, no destruction. Call New Flow and save thousands. A division of H.A. Thompson & Sons. More than 68,000 North Dakotans care for a parent, spouse, or other loved one, helping them live independently at home. Now, a new law called the CARE Act supports these family caregivers. This law ensures that hospitals identify and involve the patient's family caregiver throughout their stay, and that hospitals provide instructions for aftercare tasks like injections and wound care that the caregiver will perform at home. To learn more, visit kxnet.com caregiving. Sponsored by AARP North Dakota. If you can use it in the office, you can find it at Fireside Office Solutions. Fireside Office Solutions, East Expressway, Bismarck. You're watching KX News, putting North Dakota first. In today's 5 at 5, the five stages of change most people go through when recovering. The thing to remember is recovery is not a one-size-fits-all program, and preparing for it is going to look different for everybody. The first step, the pre-contemplative stage, when a person isn't quite sure if they have a problem. Number two, contemplative. They recognize they have something going on, but aren't sure if they want to do anything about it. 
Preparation is the third stage, researching what type of treatment a person may want. The fourth stage is the action stage, meaning someone is actively pursuing things, different types of treatment or recovery. Whether it be the guilt or shame that we can sometimes feel or the stigma that's sometimes there, um, and just trying to work past that, because once we've actively reached out, it's just a, a building process at that point. But in my mind, I think that's one of the biggest and hardest areas is actually reaching out once we have kind of realized or recognized we want something different. And the final stage is maintenance, where a person is in recovery and setting goals for themselves. Well, plenty more coming up on KX News at 5, including a workplace priding itself on being recovery-friendly. Coverage where you explore. Coverage where you play. Coverage where you live. With Sanford Health Plan, you get access to the highest quality care, affordable plans, and a team dedicated to helping you understand health insurance. Live life covered. Speak with your local agent or visit SanfordHealthPlan.com. Real steel. Find yours. Pick up the BG50 blower for only $139.95 or grab the easy-to-use BG56 CE handheld blower. For the biggest jobs, go for the most powerful backpack blower in the steel lineup, the BR800 CE for $649.95. Dear Adrenaline, you run in our veins. Let's hit the road with the wind in our grills and the gravel under our wheels. Anytime you want to tear up some trails, just drop us a gas line. Your squad, Toyota Trucks. Toyota is proud to offer a special military rebate on top of current offers available to qualified U.S. military personnel. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. It's easy to be inspired by Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota members like Anna Jo. Our member advocacy program helps mom and dad navigate Anna's rare and complex disease with specialist care around the country. When they hit the road just for fun, exploring the United States in their motorhome, they know Anna's covered at the best care facilities and hospitals around the country. Peace of mind and freedom to roam. This is Health Insurance North Dakota style. In Minnesota, South Dakota, Iowa, Washington. Check out tonight's great lineup starting at 7, followed by KX News at 10. Tonight's lineup is brought to you by Ford. Visit your local Northland Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com. Tomorrow morning on Good Day Dakota, we're warming up, and I'll tell you how long I think we'll keep this warm up. And between schools and libraries, there are hundreds and thousands of books lining the shelves, and now a local bookstore is working to keep those shelves filled. Tune in to Good Day Dakota tomorrow to learn all about it. Brought to you by Wagner Financial Services. We help you make smart decisions with your money. You're watching KX News, putting North Dakota first. Finding a job while also working to recover from addiction can be a challenge. But as it turns out, recovery-friendly workplaces do exist. It's all about networking and finding the right fit for you. Sarah Bachmeyer is an independent care coordinator at Independence, Inc. in Minot, and she's been sober for three years. As someone with a criminal history, she says having one is most often one of the biggest barriers for many people. At Independence, Inc., the executive director looks past it. He says his goal in hiring is to focus on what employees can do based off their history and skill set, not what they can't do. It's about finding the right person with the right work ethic, the right story, the right knowledge and skills and abilities. And if that person happens to be a person in recovery or a person with some other sort of work barrier, it's in my benefit to make it work with them. Burlingame also stresses the importance of creating the best work environment he can giving an employee time to get appointments and maintain recovery. Well, stay tuned. Coming up next, the importance of having a true support system in your road to recovery. And we'll also take one last look at your forecast. The Beach Boys, back on the road. Saturday, November 16th, 7 p.m. at Four Bears Casino and Lodge. 
enjoy over five decades of timeless American-made classics. Tickets on sale now at the Four Bears Players Club, fourbearscasino.com, or by phone, 701-627-7575. VIP packages available at thebeachboys.com and myclub.com. Health comes in many shapes, physical, mental, and financial, to name a few. And your Medicare plan should support all of them. We've teamed up with local partners to bring you Medicare plans that keep you in good shape. Get more goodness out of your Medicare plan with hearing aid benefits, eyewear allowances, and flexible care options that fit into your schedule. All with low monthly premiums that fit into your budget. Get in good Medicare shape today. For a limited time during SUV season, get over 6,500 total savings on a 2019 Ford Edge. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. A Taco John Stuffed Grill Taco makes a great stocking stuffer for stocking stuffers who have stockings that need to be stuffed and stuffed well. Stuffed with layers on layers of savory stuff. Stuffed Grilled Tacos. Taco John's. Bigger, bolder, better. You're watching KX News, putting North Dakota first. There's no denying people are becoming ever more busy, so staying on track during recovery makes a tough path even more difficult. We spoke to an addiction counselor who says it's important to have a support system who can hold you accountable, whether that's a family member, friend, or a sponsor. Educating them on warning signs of relapse and what to look out for and how they can help will make a difference. Another thing, self-care. Whether it's a hobby or a passion, that brings you joy. If we're feeling emotions we don't want to feel or we're falling into patterns, sometimes we can try to ignore them or um, convince ourselves that they're not taking place instead of just um, actually um, recognizing them and, and figuring out what to do at that point. Crosby says recovery is lifelong and to find a support system and self-care treatment that works for you can help you stay on track. And take one day at a time. Goals and objectives are always important. Coming up tonight on KX News at 6, we continue our Road to Recovery series with an area woman who says her drug dealers were her doctors. Hear how people from all walks of life struggle with addiction and how some don't have to go very far to get their drug of choice. That's in 30 minutes. Now, here's a last look at your forecast. Nicholas, there is some snow that's in the north. It's going to be heading south uh, over the next several hours. Let me show you the radar here. Most of the snow is in the north central uh, from around Newtown up towards around Kenmare, heading towards Minot, some uh, northeastern Montana. Don't see any snow at Bismarck yet, but that could change later on tonight. I think there will be some snow, maybe half inch to an inch is what we're looking at. Uh, temperatures tonight aren't going to be as cold as last night. We're going to be in the teens and even some low 20s, but mostly teens. And then Tomorrow, rather chilly, but the warm-up will continue in earnest on Thursday. Okay, Tom, thank you so much. And thank you for watching KX News. Please join us again at 6.